Now, let's get into something that is quite critical to the whole learning curve concept. How do companies actually calculate their learning rate? Well, they can use the learning rate, the learning curve table to calculate that. So let's assume we have a company, they noted down that their first unit took a total time of 100 hours to make. And they keep recording the time and they find out that the first four units took a total time of 240 hours to make. So they can now use these numbers to calculate the learning rate. How? Recall the base table that we covered, right? We had the table where we said units will always follow the pattern 1, 2, 4, 8, right? And we said that if we have columns for average and total time, they'll follow certain patterns as well. If the time for the first unit is A for average time, every time we move down a row, we multiply the previous value by R. So AR, AR squared, and AR cubed, right? Likewise, every time for the total time, we simply multiply units by the average time. So A into one is A, two AR, four AR squared, and eight AR cubed. But what we find now is we have the total time for four units. If we go by our base table, the total time for four units, the formula is four AR squared. In other words, four AR squared in this case is equal to 240. And we know that A is 100, right? The time for the first unit. So basically four into 100 R squared is equal to 240. 400 R squared is equal to 240. So R squared is equal to 240 over 400, which is equal to 0 0.6. And R is equal to the square root of 0 0.6. We can use a calculator to find that out. So the square root of 0 0.6 would be 0 0.774, right? So R is equal to 0 0.774, or in other words, the learning rate is 77.4%. In other words, whenever we double the output, what happens? The average time per unit goes down by around 22 to 23%. Now, what if another company recorded their time? They found out that the first unit once again took 100 hours to make, but they recorded the average time per unit. And they saw that the average time per unit for the first eight units was 50. So what do we do in this case? Well, we have the average time for the first eight units. And if we go to our base table for the first eight units, the formula for the average time is AR cubed. So in this case, we know that AR cubed is equal to 50, right? So that means that 100 R cubed is equal to 50. R cubed is equal to 50 over 100, which is equal to 0.5. So R cubed R is equal to the cube root of 0 0.5, which is, if we go back, the cube root of 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is to power bracket 1 by 3 gives us 79.37%, right? So in this case, the learning rate is 79.37%. The bottom line is, whenever we need to calculate the learning rate, regardless of whether we've been given the total time or the average time per unit for a certain number of units, we compare the corresponding base table formula, and then we use that to calculate R. It's as simple as that.